man. The snake is a beauty. Wow, would you look at her colors. Now these snakes right here are known as Louisiana milk snakes. These are tricolor snakes. Why are they called tricolor snakes? Because they have that red, black, and yellow coloring on them. Now the point of this coloring is for mimicry and also for their own protection. Surprisingly, this form of banding is actually extremely effective against color seeing predators like owls. Whenever they move around the leaf litter at nighttime, these black bands help to break up their pattern in shadows, and then the yellow bands help to contrast the moonlight that is shining through the canopy. So it literally makes them appear like a cylindrical, uniform banded snake moving through the forest. It makes them extremely hard and difficult to see for predatory animals, but it, it works to their advantage completely because not only does it help them to appear unnoticed, but it also serves as if they do get noticed, they have these bright vivid colors that serves as warning too because there's another snake that shares these bands and that snake is called the Texas Coral Snake which is the United States most venomous snake. He is in the uh, Cobra family, family Elapidae, which is a highly neurotoxic family. Now these snakes, I'm going to move them into the shade just so it will hopefully simmer down a little bit, are gorgeous snakes and like the coral snake, feed on other snakes, which is pretty awesome. These dudes kill by constriction. What they do is they'll bite their prey item, whether it be a snake or a lizard, and they'll wrap around it, and they'll pretty much just start suffocating, and the prey usually dies by asphyxiation. And uh, once they die, then they start swallowing them whole. They pretty much slurp them up like spaghetti. They start with their mouth getting on top, and then just all the way down. And it's, it's pretty sweet to see them eat, just because they are uh, voracious eaters once you can find one, and that pretty much will readily accept prey items in captivity. These dudes are highly sought after mainly just because of these gorgeous colors and these bands. And one way to tell the difference between them and a coral snake is look at the colors that are touching. You have your red and your black bands touching on the non-venomous milk snakes. And that brings up the child's rhyme, red touch black, friend of Jack. On a coral snake, you have the red and the yellow bands touching. And that brings up the other child rhyme, which is red touch yellow, kill a fellow. And that is pretty much the, the fail-safe way in the United States to tell the difference between the two. If you want some other examples, you can look at their snout. Now, milk snakes have a little bit of white modeling right at the end of their nose, and it kind of looks like they dip their little nose in flowers, whereas a coral snake will have a straight black head. And uh, they, their banding is a little bit more complete as well. If you look on the bottom of a milk snake, their bands do not go all the way up underneath their body. Whereas on a coral snake, their bands completely surround their entire body. They'll actually wrap up underneath and get all the way on top of them. These dudes usually grow to around 31 inches is the record, I'm pretty sure. So this is practically an adult. You can see this is a very large milk snake, probably pushing close to two feet. Um, since it is such a, a hefty one, I would reckon it's a female. And she is just absolutely stunning. Definitely one of my favorite snakes to see. And one of the most beautiful snakes in the state of Texas. You got to love them. Louisiana Milk Snake, praise God for this beautiful girl, and I just got to kiss her. Mwah. Kiss this little girl and we're going to have to let her go because I don't want anyone to find this special baby. She's, uh, she's too big and too pretty. So, bye Milk Snake. Man, it was great finding you, girl.